All right, so I'm pretty damn pumped to see this new Joker movie. All right, my anticipation level is like through the roof for this fucking thing. All right, I can't wait to watch it. I'm expecting a damn good movie. I think Todd Phillips is going to blow it out of the park and I'm going to have a newfound respect for the guy. He will no longer just be the, the guy who makes great comedic movies like The Hangover and Old School. If you haven't seen those, go fucking watch them now. They're a barrel of laughs, all right, folks? They're pretty damn good. And uh, so uh, all the buzz around it is is uh, just palpable. There's so much controversy, which just makes me want to watch it even more. It seems to be pissing off all the right people, all right? Uh, a lot of uh, very sensitive and, and whiny people on, on these review sites and that. And some of the reviewers, they're all, you know, kicking a hissy fit about this damn thing, saying it's, you know, some white incel fucking uh, inspiration movie and that it's going to promote violence and it's going to inspire people to commit horrific acts. Uh, I doubt the movie is is going to do anything like that, okay? This movie is probably not any more violent than a standard R-rated thriller, all right? There are a lot worse movies than, than this, uh, like Hostel or Cannibal Holocaust or some shit like that, all right? And they weren't protested, or maybe Cannibal Holocaust was when it came out back in the 80s, but Hostel wasn't, and that shit's fucking horrific, and it's way worse than anything you'll see in this movie, and I fucking guarantee that, all right? Um... It, just, it looks fantastic. I can't wait to watch it. Uh, hopefully, you know, it is dangerous getting your expectations high on movies, especially movies with this much buzz and controversy around them when you get so excited to watch a damn thing because you open yourself up for disappointment and that's a shit feeling. But hey, you know, what can I do? The movie just looks incredible. The cinematography looks amazing. The setting looks fantastic. You know, 1980s New York. Yes, it was a shithole back then, but I love watching it in movies. It had a great atmosphere and, and feel to it. And, and I don't have to actually be there, so it's all right. You know, it was a crime-infested place at the time, and it made for good crime dramas and, and gangster movies. So uh, it looks fantastic. And um, I know it's actually set in Gotham, but Gotham City is supposed to be an amalgamation of, like, New York and Chicago anyway. So, you know, it's going to have that, that feel to it. Uh, regardless, just based on the trailers, I can tell. And based on the, some of the leaked footage I watched, don't go watch that if you want to go in spoiler-free. Unfortunately, it spoils, you know, one or two major things in the movie, but it didn't ruin it for me. It just made me want to watch the damn thing even more, okay? Joaquin Phoenix's performance looks out of this fucking world. The guy's probably going to win an Oscar, which will probably make the Joker, what, the most uh, decorated uh, movie award-winning character in film of all time? What, two people getting an Academy Award for playing the same character? That's pretty impressive if that's what happens, and it looks like it might. Uh, so I don't think he's going to disappoint. Uh, and and just like I said, all the buzz around it. I don't think the movie. I don't think the movie is going to inspire any kind of violence. I doubt the movie is you know going to act like a public service announcement. I doubt the Joker's coming out there and telling people, "Hey, emulate what I do, audience." And you know, the way I act in this movie is the way you should live your life. I don't think that the movie is going to do anything like that. All right, these people are just whining and they want to use this movie uh, to promote, uh, you know, attack the people that they don't like politically and use it to promote their stupid bullshit political opinions. That's all they're doing with it. But don't listen to them. Don't even listen to me. Uh, you know, go watch the movie for yourself. Don't let people tell you what you can and can't watch. Censorship is bullshit. Just go watch the damn thing for yourself and make up your own damn mind. That's what I'm going to do. And stay tuned because coming up next is going to be my reaction. We'll see if this movie lived up to the hype and lived up to my massive fucking expectations. Hopefully it does. So stay tuned. Wow. All right. My initial reaction to the Joker movie was, man, that was pretty heavy, pretty heavy. I wasn't expecting it to be that uh, serious, a movie. Um, very interesting. I had super high expectations, super high based on the hype and the, and the trailers and the footage and, and some of the reviews too. Hmm. I do have to think about this movie a lot before I give my final conclusion on it. But as it stands now, I think it exceeded some of my expectations in some uh, aspects, and in other aspects, it uh, was less than what I was expecting. Now, to explain what I mean is, first of all, the cinematography was spectacular. The score 
was spectacular. I re- that was the highlight of the movie for me was actually the um, the musical score. It was amazing, so moody, so tense, so um, epic even. And this was this was like a, a small scale film. It wasn't a big giant epic blockbuster of a movie. It was on a small scale, following one man in one small part of the city. And um, but that score really elevated it and made the movie have a lot of weight, a real lot of weight. Like there were scenes where um, Arthur Fleck, the Joker, was like just walking around and and you know the weight of the uh, the weight of his existence on his shoulders. And the music was so foreboding, with such a sense of dread <laughs> and. It almost like was conveying the blackness of his of his of his soul. <laughs> his soul was becoming blacker and blacker as the movie was going on. I'm not going to get into spoilers in this one because I really got to think about it more. And I do have a theory as to what the ending meant, but I'm going to do that in another video. So, wow, uh, the 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 acting pretty much across the board was very good. Uh, the performance was by Joaquin Phoenix was very good, but it wasn't what I was expecting. I thought the Joker was going to be more sinister in the movie, but like and more intimidating. But he's not really like that. Oh, maybe that's a spoiler. I, I don't know. I don't think it's a spoiler. I mean, you can. Uh, what I mean is that, like, I was expecting him to be more maybe more over the <laughs> he's over the top in some scenes uh with his mania and that but what i mean is that like I, I expected him to be more intimidating as a person but you see him in he's like a gaunt small person i guess i should have known watching the trailers i just thought yeah i did expect him to sort of be more uh imposing i think that's the word imposing and intimidating yeah and I think he I didn't feel that he was but I think that's more to his character because he's just supposed to be a mentally ill person and he's sort of meek and mild at the beginning of the movie and he changes a little bit towards the end uh, well he changes a lot towards the end I guess but it's a slow gradual progression as to what happens to him and uh, yeah, I can't like I can't get the score out of my head. It was it was so it sort of permeated the movie and came like and started like it permeated into me. It's it's weird. The score was just so heavy and so uh looming over the entire movie and that's a testament to whoever s- scored this film. The music was spectacular and some of the uh more uh um like he used a lot of you know pop music and stuff like that. Some so obviously send in the clowns and things like that were, were in it. And uh, just the scenes where that music was used and the Gary Glitter rock and roll song, which is in the trailers. I think everyone knew about that. The scene where he's dancing down the stairs. Uh, that also was used really well and really suited the uh, the scene it was used in. And. Yeah, the movie is it's pretty it's it's a bit depressing actually a bit, a bit. it's very depressing movie um, because yeah it's it's a cold and dark sort of hopeless world they're pro- portraying because you're seeing it from Arthur Fleck's perspective and he doesn't have a very good life or a very happy life um, but it's hard to talk without spoiling anything too much. Uh, it's hard to say that I enjoyed the movie. It's hard to say that because it's just so fucking dark and almost nihilistic in a way. And I hate nihilism. I'm the opposite of a nihilist. I'm a I'm a pessim, a pessimist. I'm an optimist. God, ah, uh, I need a bloody uh, bloody dictionary here. No, uh, yeah, I'm an optimist. I, I like being positive as much as I can be. You know. And, and having uh, hope for, you know, the future. Even when bad things are happening, you know, people can still rise above those bad situations and, and come out on top and, and, and be redeemed and, and things like that. 
and find meaning in their life. But this movie sort of was really a downer. It really was a downer. But that's what they were going for. So it, it was mission accomplished for what he was going for. And there's a lot more I want to say, but I will save that for the spoiler review. So, you know, uh, hang in there with me and uh, on my channel, and there will be a spoiler review coming shortly. Uh, if you want to hear more of my thoughts on this film. So, I know it sounds like I've been talking a lot without saying too much, but like I said, it's hard to delve into a lot of my thoughts and feelings on this movie without spoiling things. So, I think I'll, I'll, uh, I won't drone on for too much longer, I won't ramble on uh, for too long here. I'll just say, overall, I had certain expectations about how the movie would be. It is a very slow burn. That, that is a fact, it's a slow burn. And I don't still don't know how I feel about that. So this is more an initial reaction than a, a comprehensive review. I can't even say really if I enjoyed the movie or not. I really have to think about it more. It's a super well-made movie, yes. It's a good movie, because it's well-made. And um, the acting is great. And like I said, the cinematography is great. But the, And the highlight is the music in the movie, um, for me. And it really did capture that that look and feel of, of New York City or Gotham City, as it is in this, and of the 80s period. And, uh, yeah, I can understand some people saying that, you know, oh, the movie, uh, some people might think that it's going to, you know, promote violence. I don't think it does. I don't think it does. Uh, but, it, I mean, it talks to the uh, psychology of people who see these films and think it's an endorsement of, of that kind of violence. Um, I don't think it is. I don't think it is at all. But, um, yeah. I mean, I can see certain people with a certain mindset thinking that it is an endorsement of it. But, I mean, we can't censor movies and stop making, you know, movies that portray violence because violence is real. It happens in the real world. We can't stop making movies like that just because some people will interpret them wrong i mean that's their problem you know but this movie does speak a lot about men you know it speaks to mental health and the fact that um you know there are a lot of people out there who probably shouldn't be out in society they, they need permanent 24-hour care uh for their own safety and the safety of of other innocent people out there because a lot of people are like a ticking time bomb and Arthur Fleck in this movie is a ticking time bomb. So, I guess that's the movie in a nutshell. Arthur Fleck is a ticking time bomb who should never have been out on the street. But I have a theory about that and um, what the movie, what really happened in the movie, and I will save that. So stay tuned to my channel. There'll be a ending theory and a more comprehensive review of it. But overall, brilliantly made film. I can't give it a numbered rating yet I have to think about it more brilliantly made aesthetically uh, stunning and pleasing uh, audi audibly uh, it's it was very audibly pleasurable <laughs> and uh, yeah so that's about it um, stay tuned for more content please like share and subscribe and I'll catch us later